Okay, fam, check it out. After reading the thumbnail, you know what I'm doing. We're getting ready to do it. We're going to do it together. We're going to do a chicken stew, right? I should have put this out a little bit earlier because if you had leftovers, you could have made this with made this into a what? A turkey stew. I'm using a pre-rotisserie, you know, chicken. You guys can get whatever flavor you want, but we finna infuse it with a whole lot of different other flavors to make it just like over the top, right? So we got some ingredients right here. Don't forget these will be on my website. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com. That's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now with that being said, we finna get it. Okay, so look, the first thing we finna do is we wanna go ahead and melt our butter, right? Now I'm gonna give you guys another option. You can go with a half a stick of uh, like which is a half a cup of uh, butter. Or you guys can do the same, you know, with a vegetable oil, you know, a canola, or my favorite, that's that extra virgin infused with that garlic. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do here. While we melting our butter, right, I've already washed and cleaned this up. I just like to give everything like a fresh start, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this down. Okay, folks, so you see that right there? Let me tip this this way. You know what I mean? Now we melted, look at the color. No browning, no none of that, right? Now I'm gonna come with my flour, cause guess what folks, it's fun time, we making a roux. Now when you get all of your flour in there and it's absorbed all of the butter and all of that, right? I raise my flame up, I'm getting a little bit towards like a medium now. And what we are gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and get this to darken up, right? It's almost like making a gumbo roux, right? But we want this to get more like a peanut buttery color, right? Okay, so you can see the way I cut this down. I don't really like cube this down. Don't worry, it's gonna bust with flavor, you know, on the inside of this, inside of this roux. Remember earlier, I said we want peanut butter. That right there looked like peanut butter to me. Now, if you guys wanna go darker, you can, but I wanna let you know this too. I always give my onions a little bit of a head start, right? Don't worry about breaking them all up, because look, once they get this heat on them, and I get to moving them around with this spatula, they're gonna start to separate. All right, now after giving this like a little bit of a head start, I'm gonna be quiet because I want you guys to just listen to this right here. That's what you want. Now don't forget an onion, it's full of water, right? You know what I mean? So that's what you're gonna get a little bit of that sizzle. It shouldn't be doing it a whole lot, right? And now we just add the rest of our veggies in. Okay, so I give them maybe about three minutes, you know what I mean? Now I'm gonna load up my garlic press, right? I got like four little small garlic, you know, cloves. Now we just put this in here, right? How many of y'all using a garlic press or are you still mincing them yourself? Man, save the time, folks. Get yourself one of these. Make your life a whole lot easier. And then if you guys don't know where to find them at, listen, I do have them in my Amazon store. I'll put them on a link wherever I can so you guys can pick them up. They're very, very inexpensive. And then right here, just because of, I know, I'm gonna give this just a pinch of salt right now. I'm gonna come with my black pepper. Then I'm gonna come and make the magic happen. That's my Creole seasoning, and you guys know my tool of choice is Creole kick. All right, so look, now, look, you wanna take your potatoes. And the reason I'm doing it this way, because I'm trying to cook more so and trying to film it the same way you guys would do it, right? So you just run through this. You see I got a bowl right here next to me, to my right, my right your left. That represents, you know, my water to keep everything from browning. You know what I mean? But we multitasking, right? So I can hear that my veggies are just about where I want them to be. What I'm getting ready to do is add my chicken stock. You know what I mean? Then we just go from there, right? We'll continue to do this while that simmers a little bit and then we go with it. But when you do this, I just want to show you this part right here, which is key because you want it all to be together, be ready by the same time, right? So you want all your pieces to be about the same size, right? And if they're a little bit bigger, shut them, you know, cut them in half just like that. All right, so now you see me, you know, pulling out my chicken, right? I went ahead and got myself a pre-done chicken, you know what I mean? Already been on the rotisserie, good to go. You know what I mean? So let me just break this down, then I'm gonna shred them down. But meanwhile, we gonna go back to that pot. I'm gonna show you something real cool. That's ready to go, right? Now we're gonna bring in our six, you know, quarts, excuse me, six cups of that chicken broth. Then what you wanna do is you just wanna, you know, move this back and forth. You can see it's starting to look like a stew right now, right? And then everything that was like caked up on our veggies and all of that, you know what I mean? That's get re released into our stock or broth. It depends on which one you guys use. You know what I mean? To be honest with you, I like to stock a little bit better. You know what I mean? Just a little bit of a, like a pinch of that kosher salt. Like a, a generous pinch. 
and that just wakes it up, folks. Okay, so now that we coming back up to a boil, that's what I've been waiting on, right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to it. I'm gonna be careful though, because I'm putting them in there from there. I don't want to splash it. Believe me, that's hot. Now, we just want to move this, you know, get everything blended together. I'm gonna come with my corn. You see how it's coming together? And now for my chicken. It's up to you guys. If you want to put a whole lot of chicken in there, you can. You can shred it small, leave the pieces bigger, however you want to. You can go all white meat, dark meat, mix. You see, I put the whole bird in there. Any flavor that's left in my bowl, I want it to go on the inside too. So if you come in here and take a look, this is kind of like what you want. Now I got an extra bird. I might shred that down and put just a little bit more in here, right? But I'm gonna put a top on here and we're gonna go for about an hour. When we come back, then we finna eat, folks. Trust me, this right here is fire. Okay, folks, one hour. Let's take a look at it. Oh, look at that right there. Look at that. Yes, sir. Now listen, if yours happen to come out a little bit more on a runny side or whatever, you know, you can always just add just a little bit of a slurry, right? What is a slurry? That's cornstarch corn starch and equal, uh, equal parts cold water, folks. And then under this heat, mm, mm, mm. I've been cooking for a long time, folks. I know I don't need to, you know, I was getting ready to tell you, I know I don't need to go ahead and put no, you know, toothpick in here to check my potatoes. But you saw that right there? I'm gonna do it one more time so you can see. Now don't forget, this is a rubber spatula, right? So look, if I just take this right here and go like this, look, you see how I just cut through that? Mm, mm, mm. Ain't nothing to talk about. I'm finna take me a couple of pictures inside this pot. You guys will let me know what y'all seen at the front of, for a uh, thumbnail. And we about to taste this, folks. Okay, folks, you see gloves off. I'm ready to chow down. I done already tasted. I guess you guys want to see me taste it, but look, I gotta bring these into the play right here. I guess some of you guys do the Ritz right here. You know, that's me. But I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real with you. My grandparents did them saltines, right? So I wish I had some saltines to put in here. But anyway, let's go ahead and get down. All right. And I want you to pay attention. Look, when that chicken it gets to cooking and all of that, you see how it shred in? Now look, we say a chicken stew, so that means we want to have chicken in every bite, right? So without me over talking it. Cheers, folks. I'm gonna tell you like this, that corn set it off, folks. And it's a combination of everything that we did. We tied it all together with that, that Creole seasoning, that Creole kick. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to go sit next to a fireplace, play YouTube, look up a fireplace video, do whatever I gotta do just to get that ambiance. I'm ready to dip and eat and relax, folks. <clears throat> now, with that being said, let me know down in the comment section below. But I gotta say this, Listen, I could have put a lot more ingredients in here, but I'm telling you, sometimes simples just works. It's the combination of the corn, the veggies, we did a roux, we seasoned, I put salt, pepper, fresh black. You know what I mean? All of that and just cooking it down, got that chicken in there and everything just turns out just right. Now, like I say, talk to me down in the comment section below and let me know what you would do down at the bottom. Like maybe you got some kind of way something i hadn't thought of i would love to know about it now if you're new to my channel i ain't finna bore you guys all you got to do is like subscribe and tell the world that there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and check it out folks i already put down my great kool-aid so i'm gonna take it like this and this and guess what folks i'm out peace